Hello everybody, Callisto Ivory Ducks here with a video tutorial on a tileable double piston extender. This video is a video response to CodeCrafted's recent tutorial that he released for a mechanism that does the same thing. Uh, my design is very similar, only the double pistons aren't subject to a block update, so you don't have to reset it as often, or hopefully never. So these stone blocks are going to be the ones that are moving upward and down. Let's see it in action. There they are up. And there they are down. So let's see how this works. Okay everyone, let's go ahead and start this off. We will start with our power source. Let's go ahead and put a lever on there. Now we will go one, two, three blocks over and one block up. Place a block. Another block there. Repeater set to default one tick, repeater set to full four ticks, repeater set to three ticks right there. Now this block with the repeater set to three ticks we will put a sticky piston facing towards it that will expand and retract this and another block next to this piston in order to power it. So we'll go ahead and connect this all up with the redstone and this is a double pulse generator this double pulse generator will also be the beginning of our monostable circuit or pulse limiter. So put a torch on the side of this block. Repeater leading outward set to three ticks. Block in front of that. Another torch right there. Then we'll connect this up with the redstone so that this torch turns off. Now on top of this torch right here we'll place a block torch on the side of that block again one two and then one that's one up repeater leading into this block set to three ticks and a piece of redstone that's going to be getting power from this torch down here so that's pretty much our single cell of the circuit Let's go ahead and put sticky piston on top of this torch and another sticky piston on top of that and then the block we will be moving let's go ahead and use some stone and that is it we can see it in action block is up block is down now in order to extend this it's very simple let's go ahead and use purple can go out as far as the redstone will reach so 14 blocks if you want it to. I may have to warn you though, this creates a lot of lag when you have too many pistons moving at one time. Hopefully my computer can handle it with fraps running. So we just extend this out with redstone on top, torches on the side. Do the same with this upper circuit. Block, block, block block and continue with repeater set to three all the way down probably didn't have to make this many in a row uh, you guys probably get the point but hey go big or go home something like that right redstone all the way down and that's it so you're using the same double pulse generator for the whole thing and then just connecting all these up so again let's get some sticky pistons on top of all these and the blocks we will be moving and let's see it all in action together blocks are up and blocks are back down who glitch gotta love recording when minecraft glitches out let's try this one more time that's just minecraft for you should work 99% of the time 
I don't think anything in Minecraft works 100% of the time. Alright everyone, now let's take a look at this design if you want to make an extending and retracting bridge. If you don't know what I'm talking about exactly, you can go ahead and check out CodeCrafted's video. I will be linking to it in the description. So we're going to start off with this single cell and change a few things up a bit. Let's go ahead and get rid of the pistons, the block we're moving, the torch at the end of the monostable circuit, this raised block, and the repeater set to three ticks. Now to extend this, we will bring it out two on this side and go straight from the redstone over here. And this could be as long as you want up to 12 blocks. Put torches on the sides of each of these blocks facing inward. Actually, we need to avoid these blocks right here so that we don't get any crosstalk and uh, block updates that would happen if we did. And then we'll put powered redstone on top and all the torches turn off. Let's go out one more just for looks. So that's the bottom. Now the top, we'll bring it out one more and we'll have our raised blocks above the powered redstone here. Go out equally as far as down below. And then we need two blocks beyond these raised blocks to provide room for the repeaters and for the redstone. Now once again, we actually are not going to be using these two closest ones so we could break them in order to avoid crosstalk. Now we'll put in the redstone. And on this side, we will put the repeater set to three. Here, repeater set to two ticks. Now we're all ready for our sticky pistons. Place them on top of the torches down here. Pistons on top of those. And the block we are going to be moving. And that is it. Let's check it out in action. Blocks are up. And blocks are down. Once again, I am Clisto I Redux. Hope you guys enjoy this video. So I thought I'd throw this little extra tidbit in the end of my video here. Um, I'm actually working on a tileable, one wide, individually controlled double piston extenders haven't entirely got it to work but one thing that I did manage to do was get a double pulse generator that is one wide so here we can see this is the power source and pretty much how it works we have one mono stable circuit right here in the light green another mono stable circuit here in the dark green and it's being powered a few ticks apart this could actually be as low as three ticks I believe and now if you look at the redstone on this pink block here you can see it gets double pulses and this double piston extender almost works but uh... not quite if anyone could figure that out i'd love to see it once again this is Callisto I Redux. hope you enjoyed my video